Hey guys, you're welcome to my first coding challenge. So in this coding challenge, we are going to just solve a simple problem. This is multiplication table. So we're going to create a multiplication table. So you write a method that prints 10 by 10 multiplication table. Remember, remember about readabilities, spaces, in the right places. We're going to just take it straight forward. So right now, we're going to we're using C sharp, the C sharp code challenge. So we're going to go straight to Visual Studio. Then we'll create a new project. Should have created a new project and. Uh, The passion says, let's do it again. Says, uh, write a method that prints 10 by 10 multiplication table. That prints 10 by 10 multiplication table. So we're just going to the straight says, create a method, so static void multiplication table. That's it. So we're just going to do today. Int n, int n. So let's say four. So this bring up for each sentence now. So three again. Four. So I'm going to change this to. I'm going to change this to J. Change this to J. Oh, change everything to BJ. Alright, that's fine. So, 0 to N. 0 to N. Okay, the reason why I have to create two for loop is that I'm creating my gym table. And we see a multiplication table. We have uh, we have ten rows, ten columns, ten rows, ten columns. So this is multi-dimensional array. And when you're dealing with multi-dimensional array, if you're dealing with one-dimensional array, which is a vector, you're dealing with one-dimensional array, which is a vector. This is one-dimensional array. And that's a vector. So you can use one for loop for that. For for int i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. That's this statement here is for one dimensional array. It can handle one dimensional array. Now when you're dealing with two dimensional array, that means you need to move roll and column. So you need two dimensional array and this is the two dimensional array. If you do a three dimensional array, then you need three. Three loops. One to travel the row, one to travel the column, and one to travel the depth. Okay, all that said, let's get to the solution of the problem. Okay, so we're dealing with uh, one to ten, one to ten. So not zero to not zero to so I just put one there and put this one there. So put uh, one here and put plus one there. Okay, so let's get the test. So system cost on the log also. So don't write right. I times and speak here. Then I will repeat this same. This one is to print the row out. 
the wind is out of this level. Train considers. Considers. I can use them right there. So it is. I can do. I can go with right. I can go with right and put uh, the new line there. So that is right line. Or put a new line at the end of it. Or I can. Or I can still do this. Console right line. But I think I'm fine with this. Level. I'm fine with it. Considered right new line. So let's see what this does. It's not going to do anything for now because I didn't call the button. It's not going to do anything for now. I didn't call the button. So let's call the button. Let's see. So it is going to do this. Okay, so let's call the method modification table. So let's say common time. So let's see what it does. Wow, excellent. Solve the problem. Solve the problem. Something is missing. And what is missing is the what is missing is the is the formatting. So we're going to format this to look exactly like this. Well how are we going to format it? What's the unique thing about this table? Uh the maximum digit we have is a three digit number, which is uh, 100. 100. So, uh, so what we have here is I think our li each line should have a maximum of. Uh, We have a maximum of let's go with three digits. Let's see what we have. Three digits. Let's format with three digits. So we format it with three digits. What we have is consider right line dollar sign uh, so string color. So let's put uh, this string notation there. And that's fine. Let's bring this. Let's bring this over here. Let's put it inside here. Put it. So there's no need, no, no, no need for this. So, so you can just give it a uh, space, space, space. Just that the hundreds and the and the tanks can't take the same space in the unit. So let's just uh, recognize the, the tanks. So let's put if then. Let's put if. Let's just run if condition. So if. If. Uh, let's put it up there. If. If. I times J. Nine times J. Uh, I think it's BJ. It's less than. It's less than ten. It implies that it's a unit. So, if I times J is less than ten, it implies that it's a unit. So it returns true when I times J is less than ten. So we write this out. So let's say, uh, let's give it one, two. So I put it in front. So you need three percent. Now does it if 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 I I J is greater than ten. 
which is greater than 9 x to 9 and, and, uh, and less than 9 times j is less than 100. So simply do you write this. So the time will be taking almost space. The time will be taking almost space. So give it some space. Then if I times j is equal to 100, let's see oh yeah, if I times j is equal to 100, I times j is equal to 100, so give it Space, bring it to more one space from its own. I can say it's equal to 100. Okay, good. So let's do what we have. It's an error on our code. is not declared. It's BJ. BJ is there and so, so I think it should be solved by now, so let me see. Wow, this is excellent, this is excellent, this is excellent. Okay, so this is the problem. Solve the problem. Yeah, the problem is solved. So let's look at our code project. It's well formatted. It's exactly, exactly, exactly the way it should be formatted. 